Okay, so uh, I was about to start um, doing the initial uh, tune setup, and I noticed something a little bit odd. So it's important that uh, the battery and current uh, monitors are configured correctly. And you can see a mission planner here. The battery looks about right. It's reading here. It's reading 24.84 volts, and this is 6F, so that seems okay. But uh, when I powered up, the current seemed a little low to me. So what I've done is I've put an inline current meter here, a little, little loom to convert, because I had it set up for 4S, so I've sort of got a couple of converters, and you can see the uh, the current reading there. Point. This, is, this goes up to 10 amp, amps, so I can't go above 10 amps. Um, but what I'm going to do is power on the, I'm going to arm. And uh, let's cycle it up again and you can see the current meter is reading 4 amps. And the flight controller thinks it's 2 amps. So there's a significant difference there. Um, so what I'm going to do is play with the current uh, the current parameter. Uh, often the manufacturers use the same current sensor. It's, it's sort of quite quite common. Um, and I had this problem on another H7 board, the Beast H7, and uh, the the current sensor was out by about a factor of well, it was out by a factor of ten. But I I think that. Uh, um, the parameter I used for that might be what's needed here. So I'm going to try that and see how that f affects things. Okay, so I've got something that I'm reasonably happy with. And uh, the problem with these current sensors is they're not linear. And so um, uh, you can't set it based on very low current, otherwise it's uh, out of whack at the very high current. Uh, and you also have to be careful putting too much current through the motors without um, props on. Uh, so uh, I, you know, they're getting a little bit warm there, but uh, I think it's okay. Uh, so what I've done is in config, I've set amps per volt. And uh, the default for this board is 40. And I've changed that to 75 and rebooted and uh, if we arm the copter now you see if I go up to kind of 4 amps it's roughly right 5 amps is roughly right and that's as far as I'm going to go, go. Don't, don't want to push it too much um, so I think I'm reasonably happy with that uh, I suspect it'll be a bit out of whack at the higher end, um, but uh, uh, I, I'll probably I might redo that uh, when I've got props on and I'm doing sort of uh, um, compass calibration and that sort of thing. But uh, I think that's pretty good. So the other thing uh, I forgot to do before the setup was making sure that bidirectional D shot is working. And uh, that's pretty simple to check. Uh, so I'm going to go to Mission Planner. I've already loaded up the bidirectional D-Shot firmware. And uh, what I'm going to do is go to Servo BLH. And it's this Servo BLH BD mask. And I'm going to set all four channels to bidirectional D-Shot. And save that. Uh, and note, you don't have to. This is independent of mask and O type. So as long as you've got MOT PWM type set correctly, this is all you need. And then to make sure it's working, I'm going to go. I'm also going to. Whoops. I'm going to set the T rate, which is the telemetry rate for the SC, so this is the rate at which um, there's a UART, there's a signal wire for the SCs that picks up telemetry from the SCs, and this is currently reading um, 
kind of volts and temperature and RPM and I'm going to set that to zero so there's no R RPM data coming through the telemetry. Uh, so if there is R RPM for information it should all be coming through BD shop. So I'm going to write that out. Reboot. we go to the status page you can see the ESC information here so if we arm and there we go we've got RPM information well four so that's perfect so BD shot is working correctly uh, and you'll notice I didn't get any other telemetry which is what I wanted so I'm now going to um, set the T-rate back again so I can get the other uh, uh, telemetry. But I'm just going to set this to, you can set this really slow because it's, it's only current and voltage and temperature information which you don't care about that much. And uh, um, it's only the RPM information that you want to update really fast. So I'm going to set this to 5 hertz, pretty, pretty low. And uh, that is the BD shop configuration done, finally ready for uh, initial tune.